Oh! Hi guys, I'm 13 here, and in this video we're going to be looking at three different radio-controlled motorcycles. Uh, I'm going to refer to them by their price because their names are a bit hard to pronounce. The first one is a $40 motorcycle, next one is about 80 bucks, and the next one is about 400 bucks. So, yeah. I'm gonna see if they're how much bang for the buck you get and give you my opinion on the best of the three for the price that you pay. It's pretty quick. It's pretty it's quick, it's uh, nimble, it works as advertised, it has no gyros whoa. See what happened there it is it hit a little bit of a bump and it went all wobbly. Which again is like a real motorcycle, you know, it has to like work out the So I'm guessing what minor amounts of gyro scopic force it gets from the tire spinning is just enough to help upright it because when I'm turning and I let go it just it uprights itself oh, it's a little wobbly there I don't know why you, but the thing is with this thing is you have to like let's see whoa, whoa, whoa. yeah see that if you let go of the gas just by letting go of the gas it's gonna take a tumble so if it's on its side and I give it gas will it upright itself it will So for 40 bucks, that's pretty good. My son will be able to play with this, I'm happy. But you need smooth road, because the slightest bumps will, will, will set it off. And um, yeah, you need smooth, you, see, you, need, you need a large area, because it's actually pretty quick. And then this one has a gyro, and you can hear it now. It also has brakes, and the gyro is now spinning. The gyro isn't powered, but it works off of the fact that uh, once the tire spins, it just uses the inertia. See, like this can handle, this can hit a bump, this can hit a bump, and actually there, just rode right over that hole. This can hit a bump and keep on going because of the gyro, and it can handle the odd rock on the ground, or if you want to, you can take this one and go off-roading. Whee! See, and that's what a gyro does. It just helps. Woohoo! <laughs> Look at that. Did you guys see that? It did a 360, it did a roll, and this continues on. It's got, it's got, <laughs> that was the nicest, that was the nicest stunt I've done on this thing yet. It was like a, I don't know what that was, was that a, a wheelie into a 360? So this is the $400 one. <laughs> it has uh, full working suspension, including oil-filled front shocks. It's uh, chain-driven, just like a real motorcycle. The front shocks are just like a real motorcycle. It has a uh, front and rear suspension. Um, it writes itself like that, as if it's as if it's magic. It's it's freakish to watch. It almost looks as if someone's like controlling it on strings or something, because it will always write itself, which is amazing. Because even even a radio-controlled monster truck won't do that. If, a, if, <laughs> if an RC car or cool. truck flips onto its back, it'll stay on its back. This thing can't flip onto its back because it doesn't really have a back. It'll flip onto the head and it'll just automatically roll back over to the front. So it's more stable than a car or a monster truck or any other RC vehicle in the world because anything else, when they flip on their back, they're screwed. And this thing just goes and goes and goes. Kind of like my last girlfriend. But... See? <laughs> it, it, it looks freakish because you can see that it's like unnatural how stable it is. Hey guys, so this is my top of the line motorcycle electric remote controlled motorcycle. This is my first time ever attempting to use it. It is uh, warming up as you can hear. It's 
it's a really cool sound and it gets louder and louder and louder. It takes a while. What it has is it has like a, I think I'm pretty sure it's called a gyroscope. That's it, inside and it spins around. Uh, it uses it as a stabilizer. My other two motorcycles can't handle this ground. This ground is, they like smooth pavement. Like this ground is all gravelly and shit. And there's all sorts of things. So, and it's bumpy and it's, it's, it's ripped and torn up. If you look at over here, it's all completely unsmooth. Sand and then bumps and stuff. So my two other radio controlled devices, over there I usually I use them on the basketball courts because it's nice and smooth and they can ride around there forever without falling down and that's good. And this one I'm guessing should be able to handle anything you throw at it, including this rough terrain. So. So right now what you have in here is you have something spinning around the inside of this back tire at, at 12,000 revolutions per minute. So this is my first time ever trying this thing. <laughs> yeah. First time ever using it and it is Stable and powerful. It's pulling, it's pulling, it's, it seems to, yeah, it seems to, it's pulling to the, it's, wow. Look at that, man, you see that, it's power. So to sum up, the $40 motorcycle is fun and cheap, you just can't handle much. The $400 motorcycle is what you expect for the price, it's 10 times as fun as the $40 one and 5 times as fun as the $80 one. You just It's a serious toy and you need to be careful because if you crash, in, at the speeds it does, if you crash into anything, it will break. I broke the front wheel right off of it twice, um, but it's cheap to fix. Cheap and easy to fix. All the parts, all the parts can be bought online. And the $80 one would be my, the winner, I think. For bang for the buck, it does wheelies, it does some stunting, it can go off-road. Uh, people gather around when we're me, and my, me and my son are playing with it. I can let him play with it and not worry about it breaking. So, um, you know, the $80 one, all three, you get your money's worth, I'd say. So it, it just depends how much money you want to spend on something like this. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> That's that. Ducati. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, turn it off first. Yeah. P O. Oh shit! It had its broke. You're not gonna be able to. Yeah.